to get on the bus. Go. Come on, dog. Get on the bus, dog. Doge. Oh, Doge. Doge is coming on the bus. Bye-bye. No, Doge. Doge. How crazy is that? Anyways. Hey, hey, hey. Watch out. Don't hit the dog. Doge. What? Sydney, when we hit the dog, it's so mean. Come on, we need to miss it. Come on. Anyways. A couple of them had felt like they could walk in the woods. They yeah. heard like the same, this really weird, like whistling sound. Yeah. But they just were like, well, you know, it's probably just an animal. We don't know, you know what it is, right? Yeah. And so, towards the end of the week, this one of the guys went to the spring to get some fresh water so that way they could, like, you know, cook their dinner and whatnot. Yeah. And while he was down there, he just he started to feel like something was watching him and he began to hear that strange whistling sound that sort of like sounded not quite like a bird but it was like it was, it was a whistle but they just didn't know what it was. It was real weird and he started to feel creeped out so probably oh, guess I'm not here today. And then like as he was uh, like started starting to get the water he yeah, heard something good. moving in the woods behind him. Yeah. And like branches breaking and stuff. And so he just he yeah. got up and he, he went back to the cabin that they had and yeah. he was like and he started telling the people, like, you know, maybe it's just maybe I'm just losing my mind, but maybe you know, just like it. I feel like all week, like things have just been disappearing. I I felt like we've been watched. And one of the other guys was like, Oh yeah, me too. No, like like there's a strange whistling sound. It sounds yeah. like, you know, like Almost like it, it comes from around us, like the, like some yeah. type of animal is circling us or hunting us. Yeah. And they, uh, so two of them decided to go down. And while they were trying to get some water, yeah. the, uh, again, the same thing happened. Like, they started hearing multiple whistles, though, as though there were multiple animals. And yeah. they, uh, were hearing all the breaking of leaves and like, you know, branches and all this stuff. And so they, and in fact, at one point, like a, a rock that was about the size of a baseball. Good morning. So there was a rock about the size of a baseball that had actually landed yeah. like next to them and they, like it had been thrown. And they were just like, you know what? Let's just go back to the cabin. We like, we'll just eat some canned food. We don't need fresh stuff. So they go back to the cabin, and they're, they're sort of really creeped out by all this because they don't know, like, you know, what's going on. What if they go back to the cabin, and all the food is gone? And so, no, it's okay. Now the cabin, the yeah. cabin was built very sturdy, but there weren't any windows. There was just the door. It was like it wasn't meant to be a luxury. It was just meant to like, you know, protect it from the elements and stuff. Yeah. Place for them to sleep. Yeah. So, anyways, after the sun begins to set, you know, they all go into their cabin and they're waiting there. And as they're getting ready to go to sleep, yeah. all of a sudden they hear this loud, loud, like something crashes against the side of the cabin. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, terrible. Good morning. No, Grace. No way. And, uh, so anyways. Wait, Kaisa would end. No, go away, Grace. Sit in a different seat. Guys, there's seats. Let them sit. Who cares? It's so annoying. Oh, I feel like we got all of you most of the time, so. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah. 
so like they hear this loud crash against the side of the cabin and they're like what in the world like what was that you know and they're all like they're sort of all jarred and they wake up and they're like what's going on like they thought like it sounded like something that, like some big animal had just like run and smashed to the side of the cabin so yeah. the, one of the guys gets up and he like he open he cracks the door open and he's like he's looking out yeah. And as he's looking out, another stone that was about the size of this time of like a bowling ball yeah. crashes into the wall next to him. And so immediately he sort of like stumbles back and pulls the door shut with him. And he's like, there's something out there. And they're throwing, you know, they're throwing these huge rocks at the cabin. Yeah. And out of nowhere, like they just begin, like these huge stones, like something or some things are out there throwing these giant boulders and like rocks yeah. at the cabin and they're just, it's crashed against it and it's shaking, it's shaking the whole cabin. Yeah. Well, on the one wall, the board actually, like it gets hit so hard with this rock that it pops out and um, like this sort of hairy paw reaches in and tries to grab this one of the guys who's sitting on the bed and he's it's like the guy like rolls off and gets away and this paw is like feeling and reaching around and he grabs his hatchet and he pulls and he starts to pull it out but the guy like grabs the hatchet and twists it so that way instead of like coming this way out it's hit the thing and like because they were hunting they had the rifles and so one of them grabbed his rifle and like pointed it out the like hole in the wall and shot and so he hit something because he heard something howling in pain and uh, so they retracted it, let go of the hatchet, retracted his hand and they just began hearing like it almost sounded like a stampede like there was this herd of animals just running around the cabin they ended up barricading the door and as they barricaded the door one of the animals began to like smash into the door trying to get in through the door yeah. and just all night there were boulders being thrown sometimes it'd be like an hour break but in the morning they began to hear all those same whistling sounds as though the animals were signaling like hey it's sunrise we gotta go they all ran off and whenever the four men finally worked up the courage to go outside and check it around there were all kinds of rocks there from the size of like baseballs up to bowling balls like smashed into the cabin they were on the ground there were all kinds of footprints from like going in circles around the cabin as though was it bigfoot was it some type of monster who knows, who knows? And there was a little bit of blood from where he had shot the one. So they had no idea what it was. There's no football on the side of it. That's how you watch. Look, the camera's red. Look, the camera's red. I can't hear you. The camera's red, he said. What about it? It's red. Yeah, it's because it's... Because that means it's being watched. Somebody's watching it. Yeah, that's how it is every day. Okay. Wait, was that the end of the story? Yeah, I can hear us. Was that the end of the story? Yeah. They eventually okay. all got out okay, but they but never went back. But this is what it comes from. For more scary stories.